Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back. I am of course joined by my trusty assistant Alphonse who is in my lap and ready for um, the, all things candles and wax melts. We are here to share what we burned and melted this week and um, yeah. I will, of course, as always, in the description box down below, put a lot of links for you guys to reference. So down there, I'm going to put information about some upcoming candle sales this weekend, any discount codes that I can pass along, um, where you can purchase the things that I am featuring, uh, Candle Crock 101, Candle Lamp 101, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so if you're... If you have any questions, maybe check the description box first. Sometimes it takes me a few days to get back to comments, so you might be able to find your answer down there, but you can always obviously leave a comment as well. And um, if you have a question, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, I hope you guys had a fantastic week. Elf and I had a great week. We are excited for this weekend. It's just gonna be mostly relaxing. Um, we are just gearing up for the very last week of school, which is crazy. Um, my daughter is actually graduating from elementary school this year. Uh, if you've been with me for a while, um, that might be blowing your mind as well because how did my darling little Stella suddenly become a sixth grader? I don't know, it's freaking weird. Time is just, have a kid man and you, will lose all sense of time, I'm telling you. All right, let's get into it, guys. I am going to get started with what I currently have underneath my candle lamps because I decided to... So last year, I got a bunch of candles from the Candier, uh, or Candier, whatever you want to say, uh, candle brand from over at Ulta. And um, they are one wick candles. I think they're somewhere between like six and eight ounces. I, I they're under the lamps right now, so they're liquid, so I did not bring them in here. But those particular candles, I think, are great gift candles. I realized after I burned and reviewed the first two that for the most part, like outside of like a fun gifting thing, because they have cute little labels on them, like the one that I am uh, melting in my office right now is who, it's called Who Rules the World's Moms that's who or something like they have really long titles and cute little blurbs the packaging is adorable again I will be linking these down below you can go look through them they just have fun little sayings on them that make them a great gift candle are they the type of candle that is going to be house filling in any kind of way no like these are great small space candles right like a powder room or like next to your bedside stand or next to like your, you know, like a, like a little table like this where you're reading a book and you just want a nice whiff of something. These are not house filling candles. So um, I decided that with two, I think I have like maybe like three, three or four more left to review. I decided to sacrifice two to my lamps and review them as candles that I have just decided to lamp versus burn. Um, I normally only do candle reviews uh, as like a burned post candle review, but some candles I may just want to melt. And so I'm just going to review them from those perspectives from time to time if I feel like doing that. So that's the mom one is in my office, long story short. <laughs> and then there is a, I feel like it's a birthday I'll, I'll list it down below in the description box. I'm sorry that it's because they have such long, complicated names that I could not remember them. And believe me, I actually went, <laughs> I specifically right before I sat down to film, went and looked up the names of the candles, but I didn't write them down because I was like, oh, I'll totally remember. I'm like coming and sitting down. So there's no way I can forget. Here I am forgetting. My apologies. So anyway, that is what is happening with the lamps. And oddly enough, this week, I don't have anything in my candle crocs. If you don't know what a candle croc is, you might want to check out my candle croc 101 video. The really nice neutral like ivory or cream colored candle croc that I like from Boss Cobbs is back in stock. So um, that is linked down below. It's a nice neutral option if you find a lot of the candle crocs that are currently available a little bit too loud in terms of like the inspirational quotes or a lot of them have like a holiday type of theme to them so um anyway i like the neutral one so that's what i link and it's also like only around 20 bucks so there's that 
All right, so that covers lamps, that covers Crocs. Um, let's talk about what I finished this week. First of all, I finished this bad boy right here. Now she's already cleaned out because I have a purpose for this in mind and I'm gonna need it for this weekend. So this was my limoncello cupcake. You can see I got the wicks out of there. There is a little bit of wick residue that I still need to remove with some goof off in the bottom here. But for the most part, this came clean, like, beautifully. Um, these Homeworks Five Wick Candles are great if you are wanting the most oomph in terms of strength and throw from Homeworks right now. Um, obviously, these are a lot more expensive, and I don't think that you should have to buy one of the Five Wicks, obviously. But um, I will say the performance of this was pretty darn good. I actually also have one of these uh, in the spun vanilla sugar. I might actually bust that one out. Um, the glass on that one's really pretty as well. Um, but the limoncello cupcake was great. I will say don't burn these more than like three to four hours like you do with most of your other homeworks candles. And the reason for that with these is that they tend to want to get kind of sooty, especially when you are at the halfway point. If you burn these for an extended period of time, um, they, they tend to want to get dirty. So I limit the burn of these and that prevents that. Um, that being said, this one was great in terms of strength and throw, obviously. I mean, massive wax pool, whole lot of wicks, so you're gonna get that. What am I reusing this for? Uh, I wanted a fun champagne bucket for the summertime for the back porch. Yep, so that's what I'm using this for, is a champagne bucket. It, uh, it works beautifully for that. I've already tested it. <laughs> it works um yeah I, I really think these are so beautiful they are easily reused you can see that it has this really nice kind of like it's almost like a plaid texture um and the like it's embossed or raised the glass is raised i don't know what's that what is that called i don't know it doesn't matter i just i like this it's heavy duty it's thick i mean you could even use this as like a little garbage can or something i love reusing candle jars especially pretty ones like this so finish that this week sorry buddy we're gonna oh geez louise okay i'm not gonna be able to reach the wild berry vanilla bean it's it's further than alf is currently allowing me to bend over so i finished a homeworks wild berry vanilla bean i also finished a homeworks blueberry cheesecake i love the blueberry cheesecake this to me is definitely one of my like holy grails by the way if you does this fit in here oh it does um you could also reuse this as a hurricane for your four wicks if you wanted to um there's a little bit of room mm, the three wicks might be better but yeah, the three wicks might be a better fit in here, just in terms of giving a little bit of airflow around the candle. But I mean, I guess if you were in a pickle and you needed a hurricane, you could use this for the four wicks as well. So anyway, finish that. Finished. Uh, this was under my candle lamp in the dining room. Radiant Sky from Bath & Body Works. This is pretty much unscented at this point. Once you stop smelling the fragrance out of the candles that you have to under the lamp, you pour off um, that layer that is melted and then you melt the next layer of wax. So that's how it works with a lamp. Whereas with a crock, you're melting the whole thing at once. Um, this one here, the last uh, like half of it completely melted um, the wax so I just let that go for several days I just left the lamp on 24 7 and um, it worked great like I, I really like the lamp um, I will link the lamp that I have uh, in the description box down below it's from an Etsy seller they do have a discount code available so if you're interested mine is the white marble lamp so um, yeah again I will I will link it down below for you if you're interested the discount code will also be in the description box okay so and then okay i already mentioned the wild berry sorry can't lean over to get it so but it's there um what else was i burning this week i was burning the jelly donut and since we are on let's let's do all the kringle ones at once but before before we get into it the kringle fantasy collection was released in that collection is unicorn poop which i understand is different from the original unicorn poop candle which was released in the country candle line 
I never got that one. That was kind of before I started back up with Kringle. So, but I heard that it's different. Um, there is the Fairies Floss as well as Mermaid Scales. Now, I have a random package notification from UPS that something is coming from Kringle. I'm assuming that it's potentially PR um, for that fantasy collection. I live in Oregon, so it, it takes me a long time to get anything sent to me. So a lot of other ambassadors have already showed the candles. Um, I think I'm getting two of them just based off of the weight. Now, that being said, on the day of the launch, I actually, like I sat through the countdown and I placed an order for four of the unicorn poop and four of the fairy, fairies floss myself. Um, because I just, based on the description of both of those scents, I know they're gonna be right up my alley. And I don't know if you guys saw the jars. The jars are so pretty. So they're not a mercury glass. It's actually like an opaque, um, like mermaidy blue teal um, shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to see these candles in person. Um, I am shocked that they did not sell out the day of the launch. So the candles are still available. If you want, you can use my discount code. It's Melanie15. That'll save you 15%. Um, I, do, I thought the, I honestly, I thought the collection was going to sell out the first day, but it's still available as of right now. I don't know what the quantities are. Maybe they were able to pour a ton of these anticipating that it would sell really well, but I don't know. I don't know what quantities are available, but I know that I have eight coming my way, which is kind of nuts. Uh, I, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I like I I am someone who go, is so hot and cold when it comes to like wanting to thin out my collection and then doing crap like buying eight candles. It's a problem, but I know that I will burn them. And honestly, my Kringle candle collection is not that large. Um, and most of what I have in there is mostly like holiday stuff. So anyway, I needed some stuff for summer. Okay. Jelly Donut. I was burning this this week. I really need this to come back to. Um, now I do have some backups of this, so I'm not like desperate, but mm, I love this one. And you know what I love burning alongside this? If you have it, get out your Bath and Body Works uh, Berry Waffle Cone. Mm, mine is in the OG like ribbed glass packaging here. But oh man, this is a heavenly combination together. If you have them, just trust me. I, I think you need to burn them together. Another idea I had for like just some random videos periodically was to um, do like candle pairings or like candle and wax melt pairings. Would you guys be interested in that? Sometimes I think it's fun to like mix different scents together to come up with something new. Most of us have a pretty extensive candle collection, right? And we're... <laughs> A lot of us are constantly craving something new in terms of different fragrances. I feel like instead of always going out and buying like another new candle, we should look within, <laughs> within our own collections and maybe like pair some things together to create a new fragrance and maybe get excited about home fragrance that way. I know that for me personally, I'm trying to pull back a little bit on purchasing new candles from some specific brands, namely Homeworks, because my Homeworks collection has just exploded over the years. But also, I think it's just smart every once in a while to take a little bit of a break from buying all of the new stuff all of the time and just really focusing on enjoying what you have. You know, save some money, allows you to go through a little bit more of your collection. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing that because I don't know, I think it'd be fun. Let's keep talking about Kringle. You guys, I really like this scent. I don't know what it is about the crimson and clover, but this week I was really craving this. Um, this is from the Reserve Collection. This is such a unique, perfumey, slightly earthy. It's a really complex scent, and I really like it so much, and I did not expect to like this at all. In fact, on Cold Sniff at first, I was like, eh, it's not bad, but I don't know. It's not really my vibe. But man, burning. I really love this thing. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I do still need to do some in-depth reviews on these two. These are still available in the reserve collection, so I haven't like rushed. Um, I am now officially at the halfway point with this 
crimson and clover so I think I can set that to the side to review the uh, herbs and spice I'm not as far into this one but I kind of feel like I can review it at this point I actually like this one I, I don't love this one I I kind of love the crimson and clover this I just am enjoying right like it's nothing that I would ever personally repurchase this isn't in my wheelhouse however I really kind of like this scent um so yeah I need to review this as well I think I'll give that one at least a couple more burns it still won't be at the halfway point by then but I don't know I'm pretty confident in the Kringle candles that come in the two wick jars like this so the reserve and the regular soy collection um, I never really have much fluctuations with these at all um, there are still fluctuations with the country candle line since that has switched over to soy so those I think I need to burn a lot longer to just make sure there's consistency um, but with these I'm a lot more confident at this point so there's that um, what else was I burning this week I busted out a banana burner banana uh, banana berry smoothie I'm just gonna put all those words together um, efficiency right uh, this was from 2021 so this has been sitting in my collection for a little while and when I first burned like the first couple of these they were quite light this is so much stronger now that it's been sitting I don't know why this is a thing with homeworks candles but if you get them, you burn one and you're like, this is quite light. If you just put it away <laughs> and I, I don't think it should, I don't think you should have to do this. So let me just clarify that because I'm sure there's going to be people like you shouldn't have to do that. I know I'm aware I, sh I should be able to purchase a candle and have it ready to go when it arrives at my house. But that isn't the case with homeworks right now. They are still dealing with fluctuations. So when I am dealing with a light lighter scented candle what I like to do is just shove them into a closet for the following year that has really paid off with this I love this this smells like a Jamba Juice uh, strawberry banana kids smoothie do your kids get those at Jamba Juice that's what Stella gets and um, this smells exactly like it so I really love this scent I think I have one or two more of these left um, yeah I will repurchase this fragrance for sure I need to not do it this year but I need to because I love that scent I really like that a lot another one and this this one's wicks are kind of wanting to be a little bit more wild so I'm gonna need to trim those quite a bit this is a berry trifle that has been sitting in my collection for at least a year this is also from this was poured in 2021 so um yeah this has been sitting and it intensified in strength and throw and that's great I love it Berry Trifle is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. Now, I had it when it was first released in the three-wick format back in, I think it was 2018. So good. This version smells exactly the same, but it's obviously lighter than the original. This has raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, and Grand Marnier. So, so good. I absolutely adore this one. And, um, yeah. All right, and then I have one more uh, island, this beloved island margarita of mine. Someone had asked me if I thought they changed the formulation of island margarita. So I've only been into the island margarita fragrance now for a couple of summers. I think this is actually my second summer really liking this scent. Um, it smells the same to me from last year, but I don't know if it's different from previous years. I really like this. I think it smells just like a real margarita. I even get that kind of like salted rim note in here. I think it's fresh and delicious and delightful. And I, I don't know, I like it. At least in, what is this? It's got the like elephant on there, this packaging here. I like the look of this collection it's very pretty very like boho exotic okay currently burning is um oh i can do it homeworks funnel cake <laughs> there we go i believe those are now back in stock on the homeworks website the day at the carnival collection I don't know what the specials are this weekend at Homeworks, but you can use my discount code with pretty much any of the Homeworks sales. Um, the Kringle sales, they're a little bit more finicky with the code, but with Homeworks, it pretty much works with every single sale, so that'll save you an extra 10%. But I love the funnel cake. It's sort of, I consider it a baby between hot cider donut and 
sugared beignets if you have either of those i don't think you need the funnel cake i mean i wouldn't go out of your way but i think it's a it's a great scent and it's performing really well i love that funnel cake um i would get more if i didn't have a ton of hot cider donut i have a lot of hot cider donut in fact i should probably be burning some of that this summer and then the second candle I'm, i am burning is a coconut shortbread which again has now been sitting i think the coconut shortbread has actually been sitting for two years potentially that one is crazy strong um but like in a strength and a throw of like an eight i would definitely put it at an eight it's solid so i don't know Obviously, you shouldn't have to let your homeworks candles sit, but mine do, and they do better when I let them sit. Let me know if that works for you. Uh, some people say that that doesn't work for them, and a lot of people say it does work for them, so I don't know. Let's talk wax melts. Uh, so most of this is going to be Scentsy. Um, by the way, if you missed it, on Lisa's channel, we shared our favorite summer scents. We did like our usual top six. And then um, on my channel, I think it was this past Sunday, we did our favorite summer mixes. If you missed that video, I will link that in the description box down below. I will also link the video over on Lisa's channel as well. Go show Lisa some love. She is fantastic. So um, Daydream Oasis and Mahalo Coconut were two scents that I was warming this week. I think these were both either in... I think this one was in my mixes. Was, I think it was actually this combo. Yeah, I feel like it was these two that I paired together. If I didn't, I need to. I mean, I warmed them like separately from each other in different areas of the house, but these are both great scents. This, did I say this is Mahalo Coconut? I love Mahalo Coconut. This is kind of a fresher coconut scent. It's got that like aquatic, like beachy, salty ocean air type vibe with a really nice coconut base. Mmm, so pretty. And Daydream Oasis is just a really pretty, like, tropical scent as well. A little bit more perfumey. Um, I have a Blue Coconut Beach. This is gorgeous, you guys. This is that, um, smack myself in the face with it. This is more of that, like, musky, sandalwoody type coconut. Think more along the lines of, like, the Coco Paradise from Bath & Body Works, which, oh, so good. Love this one. This? might actually be club worthy for me if it's gonna go away if it's gonna get retired um but also even if it's not i think i might just put it in my club i really this is like one of my favorite coconuts from them i think it's because it smells so much like the you getting comfy there buddy <laughs> it smells so much like the coco paradise so it's just a great pairing for me happy birthday like i, I totally went through one of my happy birthdays this week if you are if you didn't catch my Scentsy haul video, um, Scentsy is doing Bring Back My Bar. It's June, so tis the season. Uh, happy birthday is back. Finally, it's back, and I talk about this all the time, and so many of you are always like, ugh, I've never had a chance to have happy birthday. Here's your chance, and if you like it, put it in your club. I feel like it kind of rarely comes back these days. Um, n not often enough for me. Um, some people who hate this are probably like, it's back all the time. Um, not for me. I think this is fantastic. It smells like Funfetti birthday cake. I heard some people smell chocolate in this. If you smell chocolate in this, will you let me know? Um, I don't think this smells like chocolate at all. This smells like Funfetti birthday cake. Like, where is the chocolate? I just don't smell it. I don't think I'm crazy. Okay, if you are familiar with Happy Birthday, in the comments, are you team chocolate marble cake or are you team funfetti birthday cake? Let's, let's see. Okay, and then we have Shoreline Drive. Um, it's changing up my wax quite a bit this week. We have Shoreline Drive, which is another like fresher scent. This is, uh, this is very much like a bathroom type scent for me. I had this going in all of the bathrooms upstairs and downstairs this week. And it's really pleasant. It's fresh. It kind of reminds me of like an Irish spring soap type vibe. I get some soapiness from this. But yeah, it's a nice bathroom scent. We have some Sea Breeze from uh, Kringle Candle. This is delightful. If you, um, I brought some Kringle bars to Lisa um, and she loved this Sea Breeze. 
Um, this is really good. Um, also, I brought her some sweet stuff, and she also loved the sweet stuff, so these are also Lisa approved. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to say that because she's my fancy girl, but. <laughs> anyway, sweet stuff is delightful. This should be being re released by Kringle at some point in more wax and candle melt situation. Candle melt. Can candles. Candles and wax melts. There we go. Um, this should be re released in the new soy line for the country candle line soon fingers crossed. it better be soon i mean i have a lot of bars of this but i don't have any candles and i want candles so if kringle could get on that that'd be great all right you guys it's 25 minutes god I just, i'm really trying hard to get this under like 20 minutes but i just i can't do it guys i'm sorry i appreciate you being here today i hope that you have a fantastic weekend um the candle reviews should be up at some point um next week so if you're interested in that um feel free to check those out then let me know what you're burning and melting this week i appreciate you being here give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or entertaining in any kind of way and subscribe if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one take care